guys. Welcome back to my channel. I have a <laughs> three uh, thrift store haul for you. I've been a little busy, as you can see. Um, I'm very excited about the things that I got. Let's take a, a closer look here. I know you guys are all going, oh my God, look at that wreath. That's exactly what I said when I saw it. <laughs> yep, I found another Christmas tree, you guys, but this one doesn't have a base. We'll see what happens with that. I have quite a variety of different items to share with you. So, let's quit gabbing and get into the haul. Hey guys. <laughs> yep, I am a hot mess today. I um, am trying to rearrange and declutter my eBay room, which originally was my craft room. So I was off today because I have to work this weekend, unfortunately. So I thought I would take this chance and try to tackle that room. Now, um, let me just share this with you. Um, on March 2nd, um, in Sanborn, near where I live, they are having an indoor yard sale. And you can purchase as many tables as you would like um, to sell your items. So, I purchased two tables. And what I decided to do was uh, grab all of the things that I haven't been able to sell online and take them to this indoor yard sale. So that was part of the reason why I decided to get into this room and grab all those things out and rearrange and straighten and make more room for my um, continuing, um, uh, what do you wanna call it, um, addiction? Yeah, that'd be it. Um, yes, so, that is what I have been doing all day today. Um, hasn't been a really good day. I mean, I did make a ton of progress. Um, however, um, I was on the floor in the bedroom with the vacuum cleaner trying to vacuum underneath something. The vacuum cleaner fell over on the back of my head, so I have a nice goose egg. And then on top of it, it sucked in my hair. <laughs> so, yeah, so. Um, I have a headache and I have a little bit less hair today and that is why I look the way I look because I don't know I just like the sheepdog look but anywho um, before today I did make it to half price Wednesday at the Salvation Army I did go even though I worked the later shift Wednesday night, I still went anyway, and I'm very glad I did because I got some great things. Um, I also, on Thursday, Thursday and today, I stopped by Fuller's Flea Market, my favorite little place, and uh, found some great vintage items. And yesterday, uh, I went out and met the girls from work for dinner, and of course, I have to drive right by the Goodwill. So, I mean, you know, my car just goes that way automatically. So, I did pick up um, some items there as well. So, let me... I, I'm trying this a little bit differently. Instead of sitting on the side of the table, I thought maybe I would sit in the front of the table and just kind of turn around and grab things. But I don't think that's going to work too well. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to give it a shot, but... I'm sure I'll end up stopping the video and uh, doing a switcheroo, so we'll see. All right, let me start with Half Price Wednesday at the Salvation Army. Um, I did pick up these two um, bouquets of silk flowers, and they're actually, they're beautiful. Um, I love Gerber daisies. They're gorgeous. And of course, hydrangeas, that's another one of my favorite flowers. Um, these are beautiful. And originally they were $4 and I got this whole bouquet for two bucks, which I didn't think was bad. 
usually for these kind of flowers, you're gonna you're gonna pay up for them. So I thought that was a great deal. I also got this bouquet, and these I think I paid two dollars for as well. Uh, regular price. They weren't on sale. They had them all tied together with this ribbon and it's getting in my way. But anyways, there are some beautiful roses, as you can see, and uh, magnolias. I mean, they need to be fluffed up and everything. Um, yeah, nice big flowers. So I got those and I don't know, yeah, $2, I think I said they were. I don't know where the price tag went, but yeah. All right. Um, I had been eyeing this set of pictures that I'm about to show you. Um, I just thought they were absolutely adorable. I don't know if I'm going to resell them or hang on to them uh, for my daughter, but um, let me show you. They are so cute. I haven't looked them up or anything yet, but... It's called Bless Us All, is this one. That's the little boy. And this one says a child's prayer, and it's the little girl. I just, I don't know, I just thought they were absolutely adorable. So I grabbed these for, they were $2 each, uh, originally $4 each. So I got two for $4. And if you look at how beautiful, I know I know it's kind of hard with the glare, but I just love, look at his little face. He's just adorable. I know. There we go. Yeah, I, and uh, they're in really good condition. They have the paper on the back. So, yep. So I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do with these yet. Um, then I picked up these two items, which I loved. These are, uh, I believe milk glass and they're very dirty. As you can see, there's like hot chocolate or something running all down them. I got them for, um, 45 cents each and they still have the rubber, um, ring on there. So I wanted to grab those. 45 cents each so this one is a little bit different this one has the uh ridges but it's also milk glass all right uh this i thought was really really unique and it's actually a cookie jar but it looks like a purse and i thought oh my gosh how cute is that? There you go. I paid a dollar for it. And it's actually, uh, it says David's Cookies, a bite above the rest. Um, it does have a little bit of crazing. If you look on the lid, you might be able to see it a little bit. I don't know, this camera sucks. I don't know. It doesn't want to focus, but it does have a little bit of crazing, but I didn't see like any chips or anything. So, and I have no idea what something like this would go for. I mean, my guess would be like, maybe I could get 10 bucks for it, 12 bucks, maybe. So we'll see. I grabbed this adorable little candle holder with the snowmen. Um, this is getting put away as a Christmas gift. Um, this was half price. I paid $1.50 for it. So very cute. Very, very cute. All right. Then I found, I love this vase. I just think it's so dainty, so pretty. It's got the beautiful fluted top. It was originally $4.99. So, 
So I got it for $250. Um, it was a little pricey for me, but I just really, really loved it. So, you know, when I really, really love something, it's coming home. So. I got this. This is so cool. And I only paid 50 cents for it. Um, all made out of beautiful uh, beads. And it's actually to go on top of uh, any kind of a tea light holder. Um, you know those ones that you can get at Dollar Tree? They're the tea light and then it has the long stem and then the base. Um, this would go perfectly on top of one of those and it would look gorgeous with the candle glow. Oh, that would be beautiful. So I had to grab that. I thought it was a lot of work. Oh, wow. You guys, look at this. It's made with safety pins. Look at that. Holy cow. Oh, my word. How cool is that? The whole thing is made with safety pins. Wow. I'm like amazed. I am totally amazed. Wow. Hmm. It's just amazing. Like the craft world, the, the stuff that they come up with is just amazing to me. Let me say that again. It's amazing. Y'all know I love my scarecrows. This little guy is so cute. Look at them. <laughs> had to have them. I had to have them. And he was regular $2.49, so I got him for $1.25. <laughs> All um, And let me see. I think the last thing that I got, and I'm going to bring you guys over here with me, is this beautiful vintage whoops ceramic wreath it is missing a few bulbs and some of the bulbs got broken like inside the holes so i'm gonna have to try to get those out um i did i did pay up for it i paid twelve dollars for it but to me Look at this. Oh, my God. It was well, well worth it. I absolutely adore it. It's beautiful. It'll go with the tree that I got. And by the way, I did find um, a new star for the top. So that came in a package of two. So I got two of them. So I will put one in the uh, last tree you saw me haul. And one in my very first tree that I got uh, didn't have a star either. So now both my trees have stars. Okay. So now I think I might have to uh, move over here and show you um, what I got from Fuller's Flea Market. So I'll be right back. Okay. I am back. And um, I forgot to mention, I did get two clothing items at the Salvation Army. I will share them with you. I got this really pretty, I guess they call them, you know, the cold shoulder. It has the open shoulder, the long sleeve. I love the color. It's a beautiful, it's, it's a mint green and it's Jennifer Lopez. I'm hoping it fits, it's a medium. I normally buy my shirts in a large because I don't like them to be like really tight fitting. So we'll see if it fits. Um, it was originally $3.99, so I paid $2 for it. And then I grabbed a LuLaRoe. LuLaRoe, love those leggings. Um, got this shirt. This is also a medium. Um, 
I needed something in this color to go with a couple pairs of um, leggings that I have um, that are LuLaRoe leggings. So hopefully this will match. Um, it was regular $4.99 and I believe I paid regular price because green tag was not on sale that day. So for $5 though for a LuLaRoe top, um, yeah, that's a steal. So, okay, so that was everything from the Salvation Army for Half Price Wednesday. And I spent $37. Um, and I thought I got quite a bit. So, I mean, 12 of that was the wreath. So, yeah, I think I did pretty darn good. Okay, so let me put these shirts over there. All right. Um, I decided um, instead of doing Fuller's next, I'm going to do the Goodwill um, haul that I, I went there yesterday. As I said before, I went out for dinner. And I spent, whoops, wrong one, $22.80. So, what did I get at the Goodwill? Well, I grabbed this adorable calendar. Um, it was regular $3.49, so I got it for $1.70. And this is a, a telefloral, no, yeah, telefloral. Teleflora item. Um, it was made in Korea for Teleflora, and it is from 1983. And I think it is so cute. And this um, will go in my kitchen somewhere. If I can't find anywhere to put it, because I am kind of rearranging and stuff like that as I'm doing my uh, eBay room. So um, if I can't find somewhere for it, then I'll um, sell it on eBay. All right. Um, I also got... Um, I was eyeing these the other day, and I had them in the cart, and then I took them out, and went back yesterday and put them in the cart, <laughs> and they stayed in the cart, um, and I'm really glad I did, because I checked on eBay, and for a set of two, they sold for like $25, and I have four, but they're a different color. The ones online were black. These are brown. And these are Hall Pottery. I will show you here on the bottom. And um, I, have, I have four of them and they're in perfect condition, no chips, no cracks. Um, so, I mean, I'll probably list the set of four for like maybe $35, $40 and see what happens. Oh, what did I pay for those? I paid $349 for all four. So yeah, you can't beat that. So that was a that was a good deal. Um I got this um, really, really pretty chip and dip um, server. So it has the center bowl and then it has a white one, two white ones and two aqua ones and they go around the bowl uh i'll show you a picture of it at the end of how it looks all together um yeah so i paid five um 549 for the whole set so it's the center bowl and four of these for 549 which i did not think was a bad deal now it doesn't say california pottery on the bottom but it does say um, USA, and then it has the number J31. 
So I'm going to see what I can find out. I don't know if this is California pottery or not. But we'll check it out and we'll see. All right. Um, oh, look how cute this is. This was on one of those bouquets of flowers <laughs> that I got. And it has the little clip. How cute is that? I love it. Okay, and then the last thing that I got at the Goodwill was this ceramic Christmas tree. Um, as I said, it does not have a base for it, um, but I'm sure there's people out there that have bases and no tree. So I'm going to research and see, you know, I'm sure I could probably sell this for like, maybe $25, $30. It has a few um, a few missing bulbs and it does have a chip like they always do right on the top. Um, I can get, you know, stars for it. I do have two. I could use one of the ones for one of my trees for this one if I want to sell it. And, you know, I'm going to list it and, you know, see what I can get for it. And I do have some extra lights as well, so... Um, other than the little chip, um, it's in really good condition. So we'll see what happens. I was very surprised to see this on the shelf at the Goodwill because normally anything like this, like really good items that they know sell for good money, usually never makes it out on the shelf. Um, those things they immediately list on their online um, website. So that was a shocker for me. So, yep. So, that was all that I got at the Goodwill. Uh, so, for $22.80, I did not think that was too bad for, for the items that I got. Because, I'll tell you what. Just with the mugs alone, that will, like, almost double what I spent at the Goodwill. So, yep. Happy about that. Alrighty, let me move some of these things out of the way here so I can show you what I got at my little Fuller's Flea Market. I love that place. They're due to do a, a clean out, a house clean out over the weekend. So hopefully, I believe I'm off on Monday. Is it Monday? No, I'm off on Tuesday. So hopefully by Tuesday, they'll have everything and then I can go in and see what they got. Okay, I made two trips to Fuller's. I went there yesterday also before I went out to dinner. I went there first. <laughs> then I went to Goodwill. But um, when I went yesterday, I spent $4. Okay, and then I went today. And I went today for a specific reason, which was to purchase these two vintage cameras back here, which I will show you. Um, so I spent $10 on each camera. So I spent $20 today. So a total of $24 I spent. And let me show you what I got. Um, I got this adorable little oil lamp with daisies. You guys know I love my daisies. So I was ecstatic to see this. So once I get it all washed up, I have some oil that I'm gonna put in here and this is gonna go in my kitchen and I cannot wait. I just love it. Um, I grabbed this, it's a wall packet and it's a little tea kettle. And it's extremely dirty. It's very gross. Uh, but this is um, Grant Crest Hand Painted Japan. So I'm just going to see um, what it goes for. Oh, my God. It is so dirty. You have no idea. But, uh, yeah. So I got that. Then I got these two cute little pineapple salt and pepper shakers. 
Obviously, uh, somebody went to Hawaii and brought these back as a souvenir. They are adorable, and they have their Japan stickers on the bottom. Hawaii on one and Aloha on the other, and they are full of grease and dirt. So get these washed up, and I will be listing these as well. Probably for like, I don't know, $7. Um, I found this milk glass cup, but I love the picture on it. You know, the old Victorian or colonial um, man and woman. Very, very pretty. Have no idea who made it. It reminds me of um, an Avon piece for some reason. Um, I don't know if maybe it's missing a top or whatever, but it just reminds me of something that Avon would have um, sold. Uh, maybe it was a candle inside. I don't smell anything though, so I don't know, but it's very cool. Then I saw this adorable Santa cup and I had to grab them. Um, this one was made in Taiwan, but I don't care. I just wanted him for my Santa cup collection. I just think his face is so cute. And he's in great shape. Hello. <laughs> I love him. Um, Santa got this cute little Santa bell. Look at his face. He looks uh, like he could be Japanese. I don't know. He's very cute reading his uh, naughty list, I guess. I'm sure I'm on it. And this is by Jasco. And it has, you can see it's got a little sticker and the name inside. And there's the little clanger. Uh, this I just loved. This really reminds me of when I used to take ceramic class. Look at this mushroom. This is so cool. I, I mean, it just brings back so many memories. Um, it does have some writing on here, but I can't make it out. It looks like it says something Bobby. But anyway, um, these were made, like this particular uh, glazing um, pattern um, was made with, um, the glaze came with all these chunks of, um, I don't know what the chunks were made out of, but they were all different colors, these chunks. And you would, Pink them on to your piece, and when it was fired, they would burst open and run down the piece. And that is how you would get this gorgeous look. Yep, I made an ashtray when I was 16 years old for my boyfriend, and he still has it. He still has it. Yes, my boyfriend... I dated him when I was um, the age of 16 to 18. We broke up because he cheated on me because he was a big jerk. Um, and then we got back together 30 years later. And we've been together for 10 years now. And he still has that ashtray. So just a little story for you. Um, I grabbed, this is an Avon piece, this little frog. Look at him. He reminds me of Kermit. Um, he's got a little flower thing on his back. I don't know if they're supposed to be warts or whatever. But it had emerald, it's called Emerald Prince, and it had Moon Wind Cologne in it. I'm trying to see, take the head off. I want to see if it smells. Oh, it does. It still smells. Wow. Very cool. And I like to get these vintage... Um, Avon little perfume things. So he's staying with me. But yeah, you can see the bottom there. Can we focus, please? No. Okay. Um, I grabbed this little poodle. 
because I have another poodle, but he's much bigger, um, that I got at an estate sale. It was one of the only couple of things that I got at, at the sale. And I've had him listed. Um, but this little guy I thought was really cute. And he's made in Japan. And um, he's playing the violin. How cute is that? And he has that kind of like spaghetti um, texture. Same as the other one. So what I'll probably do is maybe add this one to the listing and uh, sell them as a little set. So we'll see what happens. Um, this was really funny to me. I grabbed these two Christmas candle holders. They're votive holders. And I used to have this one years ago and... I got rid of it, and now I have it again. <laughs> you know, I guess what goes around comes around. So, yes, I got these two. They're in perfect condition, and these are also, are these Jasco? Yes. Christmas Lurkins, they're called. Jasco, 1970, no. I'm not sure. It says Jasco 19-something. I don't know if you guys can see it, but yeah, so I grabbed these two. And I saw this and I had to have it. I love this, you guys. Look how cute that is. It's so homey looking. And I'm hanging this up in my kitchen somewhere. And it has its Made in Japan sticker. So, yeah, I, I I saw this and I said, oh, my gosh, I got to have it. Um, and then she found some more butterfly gold. And, she, you know, she's the one that I got the big bin of butterfly gold dishes from for 20 bucks. She goes, oh, I was looking and I found some more for you. So I have uh, two of the hook cups. And four more um, saucers. And she just gave these to me. She goes, here, just take them. I'm like, okay. <laughs> so, yeah. So, this I didn't pay anything for. Brenda is such an awesome person, you guys. Oh, my God. She is great. Um, and then I picked up this little, I'm, I'm sure there was another piece for it that this actually sits in. But I just, it goes with one that I already have. It was an ashtray at one point. But the one I have in my bedroom, I put like little safety pins and little tchotchkes in. So that's what I'll probably do with this one too. Okay, so all the things I just showed you, I paid $4 for. Okay. All right. Now... That was what I grabbed yesterday. So today I went back to grab these cameras. And of course, I found this little guy. And this was also done, these eggs were done using that same technique with the glaze and the chunks of stuff in there. And I said, that looks gorgeous. This is screams like the 70s, I want to say. Um, there's nothing, they didn't write anything on the bottom, whoever made it. But Brenda did throw some eggs inside of here. But yeah, they didn't, oh, wait a minute. What does this say? Oh, Duncan Enterprises, 1980. So that's got to be the um, mold. But the person that made it did not sign the bottom. So whoever made it, thank you. I love it. Okay, so I saw these cameras when I was there yesterday, but I didn't have any cash on me. So I said, Brenda, I'll be back tomorrow. I want to grab those cameras. So, it came with the case, 
And as you can see, it's Anne's Co. And uh, it comes with this camera. Look at that old flash. That's friggin' amazing. And it also came with this camera. This is also an Anne's Co. And it's called the Cadet. It's a smaller one. Even has the strap. And this bigger one here comes with the original instructions for the, um, the flash. And as you can see on here, it was, it was a junior um, press <laughs> photographer. So it comes with this book. the button. <laughs> this is awesome, you guys. A press pass. I just like, oh my God, that is so funny. So it came with all of this stuff inside of here. And then this little piece, it goes on here somewhere. I'm not sure where, but so I paid $10 for this uh, set right here came with the two cameras and the case and all the little goodies inside. Um, I can probably, I was a little disappointed when I looked them up. They don't sell for a whole lot, but I probably could sell this whole bunch here for probably $35. So I'd make a $15 profit on this set. Now, this set, hang on, I got little things rolling all over here. This next one, is a vintage Polaroid camera. This is the, the case that it came in. This is the flash attachment here. This is the camera. And it opens like this. Very cool. And then it has the dial on the back here. So this is all one piece. And then the uh, flash, where does the flash go? Uh, I don't know. Somewhere on here. It's got to come out of here. Maybe not. I don't know. But anywho, that's that. And then, let me put this back in here. It came with the book which the page just got crunched back here. So it came with the book. It came with all this paperwork here. Um, and then it came with these things. Um, these are called cold clips which I have no clue what they are. If any of you out there are photographers and know about vintage cameras, um, it would be great. But uh, this is a cold clip, okay? And it has the instructions on how to use it. And these things go inside of there. So I'm assuming these must be, I don't know if these are pieces of film or what the heck they are, but there's two of them. And uh, another one of those um, thingies. What did I call it? Yeah. Okay. A cold clip. So I don't know. 
Um, but anyways, so, and then it also came with these two little um, cylinder things, and they have these things inside of them. I do not know what the heck they are, but I'm assuming, obviously, they go with it. And everything came in this case. So um, this, I, I think I could probably sell for maybe like 30. Um, so I'd make it like a $20 profit. So, I mean, I'm pretty happy with that. Like I always say, any profit is a good profit. So, my friends, that is my haul for today. Um, can't work at the church tomorrow because I have to work my regular job this weekend. So, I'm really disappointed. But, I'll have to work the following Saturday. And, you know, I'm going to have another haul video because I have to work and thrift at the same time. So, anyhow, let me get a move on. I got stuff everywhere still, but I wanted to try to get this haul video out for you guys. And um, let me see, do I have anything else to say? I don't think so, other than I have a headache. Yes, indeed. Okay, guys, please like this video, share. Sharing is a wonderful thing. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I'm Dee, glad to have you. And thank you to all my current subscribers. You guys are awesome. Thank you for all of your comments. I absolutely love reading everybody's comments. And I do um, answer all of your comments, so keep them coming. So until, ne until next time, I'm tired, guys. I can't talk. I'll catch you in my next video. Bye, guys.